Hello everyone and welcome to your guide on ships and influence. In today's video we will cover everything from acquiring your ship to getting it and yourself to a new rock in space. So listen up because this one is a doozy. Buying a ship. If you take a brief moment to use advanced search you will be able to search for ships for sale on your asteroid. See what people are selling them for and nab yourself a vessel. Ships are one of the hardest and most resource intense items to build in game and most players will either have to fork over cold hard sway or spend a decent amount of time working to craft one. It's likely not something new players will do for a while. If you would prefer to make one, simply navigate to a shipyard you have access to, send the correct materials as shown in the video, and click construct. Loading propellant and cargo. Now that you have got your hands on a ship, it's time to give it some fuel. You can do this by purchasing fuel at the market and shipping it to your ship, or if you already have some, you can navigate to the viewing window of your ship. Select send on the bottom left. Now on the right, you can see your ship as the destination. Give it a click. You will see you have two options your ship's cargo and the ship's propellant bay. Select the propellant bay and hit OK. Select the warehouse your propellant is stored, then select transfer items. Mouse over the propellant until you see the three dots. Click it, type in the amount of propellant you want in kg, and hit OK. Complete the transaction, you're done. It's the same process for cargo, simply select the cargo bay instead of the propellant bay when loading. Station flight crew and permissions. Now that your ship is all fueled up, it's time to get some crews stationed here. In order to do this, select the ship as the administrating crew, select station flight crew on the bottom left. If you want to add a different crew, it's a simple process of granting them access first. Select the keys on the far right, select station crews, select edit allow list, type in the name of the crew you wish to give access and hit update. Select the hamburger menu to switch to that crew and in the same ship view, select become administrating crew. Complete the menu, then select station crew, and you are done. If you don't want this extra crew to be the owner of the ship, you can also select station passengers instead to let them ride along without access to the ship. This is good for helping friends or moving your crews about. Listing for sale. While we are here in this window talking about permissions, let's discuss listing ships for sale. In the same permissions menu that you use to change the list, scroll to the bottom and select the carrot under ship settings. Select list for sale and type in a price that sounds good to you. Select update. The ship is now for sale. If you wish to cancel the sale of your ship, you can come back to this menu, select not for sale, and update it same as before. Product access permissions. If your ship is going to be hauling or moving goods, it's important multiple crews have permission to add and remove goods from your ship as well. Be sure to add all relevant crews to the allow list under add products and remove products in the ship's permission setting. Getting into orbit. Now with all that out of the way, it's time to get this ship into orbit. Select your ship with the administrating crew. Now select launch from the bottom left. From this menu you can see the propellant cost to get into orbit and you also have the option to launch quickly using just propellant which uses more fuel or you can use a hopper launch a hopper launch takes no fuel but it takes a bit longer to get into space depending on your needs the choice is yours go ahead and launch in your chosen option Landing. Welcome to space. Let's get back down on solid ground, shall we? To land a ship, we have similar options to what we used to get into orbit in the first place. Simply navigate to the asteroid view and select an unused tile or spaceport and select the land ship. You'll be presented with a familiar menu. Make your choice between hopper or propellant landing and select done. Ejecting. Now let's discuss ejecting crews and emergencies. If for some reason you need to abandon ship or leave some crew behind, it's a simple matter of selecting eject passenger crew. Select the crew in the menu that you wish to eject and hitting the eject button. They will be removed from the ship and instead be left in an escape pod with limited maneuverability. In order to retrieve these people, they will require a ship to pick them up. Flying to another asteroid. It's time to hit the road. With our ship in orbit, click the back button on the bottom left and select plan flight. Select a destination asteroid from the star map or type in asteroid name in the menu on the bottom left. From here, we now can see a new menu on the right. This is a flight planning menu. The brighter the color, the less fuel you will use. The darker the color, the more fuel you will use. If there's no color, the flight is impossible. The horizontal axis from left to right represents departure delay, i.e. how long you will wait before liftoff. The vertical axis from top to bottom represents the flight time, i.e. how long you will spend in transit. It's important to watch the data points on the bottom to not only ensure you have the fuel to reach your destination, but that you will also have enough to come back. Be sure to store extra food in your ship car go as well, you do not want to run out of food while floating in space. Once all that's done, feel free to begin your flight or close the menu. Emergencies. 
Now that you have all the info you need to fly about, it's important we discuss how to handle emergencies. In the event you have no fuel left, there is a final option. You can collect emergency propellant. This will allow you to make minute maneuvers, or in some lucky cases, you may well be able to complete a trip to a different asteroid. To do this, select Enter Emergency Mode on the bottom left. Now select Collect Propellant. When the action completes, you may have enough propellant to make a flight plan to a different asteroid that you can refuel with. Be sure to never run out of fuel in space you will not always be lucky. That's everything for today's video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and join our Discord for more news and tips on influence.